Hello my babies, welcome to this reading. I have a certain mantra on the background and my intention with it is some powerful, powerful confidence. Now let's see what the cards have in store for you. First of all, this is citrine and it's a citrine point. Let's see the cards in the order I pulled them. Kalimahamaya. Ancient power mystery is here. The rattle of ice is playing. And <laughs> princess of wands. I don't resonate with the name here. Page of wands. These are feminine. The pages are feminine energies for me. So I wrote princess there. Now, these are the cards. But I will talk about them as I stir the coffee you've got in your uh, this <laughs> so I'll close my eyes and uh, okay There are two people equals. There are more people involved uh, involved than there have whoa 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 part and whoa this is the impact these two people create. Like this is there are and have been there are many people involved and maybe there have been even more people involved in the past and in this whole story and look how chaotic it's been at times how up and down up and down and it's like there's a bubble of roams i was about to say i was thinking of roads I, my intention was to say thoughts with this bubble but roads came up and then roams oh I see it it's like the thing is I feel the masculine here and this is the feminine and these are like two energies behind the feminine possibly even three possibly it's um that they're this optional and the masculine there, there's a it's like a lunar presence with the masculine behind the masculine that he's been getting away from and this lunar presence mother-like figure because it's the moon the lunar presence it's like there are dark entities bubbling up in in, in the head of this whole situation it's like and here is like a ghost something you, you see it's I see that oh look and, and there's a star above the masculine and a star above this lunar that this feminine presence here and it's like she's been tainting his path it's like both his mother and then this other feminine presence have been tainting his path and this dark energy in his world has been coming it's like what i see is that his mother figure has been really sucking energy but in terms of like not even realizing it like wow like, oh, I feel like this is going to be a long reading. His mother has been sucking his energy since he was born. But not even realizing it because she's just depleted of energy and she's just low, low on energy generally. She's a low vibe person and low on energy, as I said, generally. And so she's been tainting his 
childhood but look he got away from this where she's at he he got into a more powerful positive place i'm sensing the feminine vibes the feminine here is more positive she she looks at higher higher peaks he is still like his childhood still had an impact on him kind of cut his ability to reach high and but he he's got a star above him like remember that story with the star of Bethlehem when Jesus is born and he's born under a star this is wonderful but it's like this other feminine presence has also got a star above her and now a star is is not only a positive influence there are stars with negative influences so this has been the energy that his mother pulled on him he has managed to pull away from this but then look like this is the the way his mother has been draining energy from him and this is the way his partner has been draining energy from him what i feel here is that this energy is less physical it's more habitual i heard and more of, of energy mental energy and probably even emotional energy just attention wise but this this his partner has been draining a lot of also physical stuff from him resources all of that physical presence physical attention a lot of time from him a lot of i i, I keep hearing this time that he could invest it otherwise he could have invested otherwise and look it's like wow Okay, so his mother and this are, are, are kind of similar. He could have he could have a sister as well. For some of you, this this could have he could have a sister who is also it's like she's caught between the mother and the partner here. She's not as bad as them, but mm, still tainted. <sighs> or this partner of his his mother has been looking at her as a as a child of her as a you know like a daughter of her or something and maybe they've been close friends and stuff like that and look it's like they've been trying to reach into this world as well like see with this line here but this is the masculine here in the relationship with this partner and this is her but she's been having an affair with someone else. This is the one she truly considers her equal. And look look at the the stain, the, the spot here and this spot over her other partner. Like it's like she looks up to this person while the masculine here she finds him stable she finds as i said a lot of resources pulling a lot of resources from him profiting and it's like i see with these two spots here it's like they've been plotting together and it's like these two spots are like balls in their hands like you know those kind of decorative things that you put in the christmas tree and it's like they're playing with them or toys or anything like they're playing with them because they've taken things they they've taken those things and other things away from him and it's like he has got his own energy here with this spot very low very so he's been trying to pull away from from this situation and it's like there there's been a double he had to work twice as much to get here, to get back here with, with this feminine. 
and like who is his true counterpart, his true equal, fair, the one who would not profit. <gasps> Look, there's a star above her as well, but it's not that seeable. This is nice. Nice. There are two stars here. Aww. And see, his one is bigger and it's just like, it, it, exactly as it is, like masculine and feminine. And look, you see here, it's like their hands coming together. It's nice. Uh, for some, this could be a child here. This could be a child, it's like... I see father, mother and child. So while he's been having problems over here, this feminine had been having problems with family. And this may happen in different ways for many people. But what I see is that this is her. This child is her. And this is her, like the one who was supposed to be her mother. And this is the one who was supposed to be her father. Meant to protect. But what I see is that they've been trying to come all over her. Instead of protecting her, they've been trying to see there's darkness over him. There's like, there's this mountain of darkness. It's like here for the masculine, the mother in his life has been the tainting figure. and Or the most tainted figure is like possessed. And, and I'm not saying like, for real. Having unclean entities attached to her who drag energy from her and that's why she wants to drag energy from his, her child and others possibly even this feminine here but she doesn't really care all, all she wants are material resources and i'm saying this feminine here drags energy from demons whether she realizes it or not <laughs> i think she does She's evil. And in this situation here, I see everything is going in circles. <laughs> I wanted to mention it previously, but went with the story. You see their relationship is like, it's like a, a, knot, a knot here. It's like they're bound somehow. There's something like a karmic knot here that had to be broken and she cried a lot but because of ego and, and it's like this relationship also could have purified her as well but she did not want to see it this guy it's you, you see this stain on, on this guy and it's going on her it's like they are, she's bound with him by dark magic. And she tried to bind herself to this masculine as well. But there's, do you see this dark, darker dash here? Also coming from the masculine's spot, this here. It's like, I see this, it's like whew, the energy that breaks it somehow. It's like... Her trying so hard to push on this has been exactly what made the masculine cut it. There's been a karmic tie here. And very hard to, to untie. To untangle. It's been tangled and it's been a heavy knot. It's like falling. And it's like... She is very dragged into the earth, into the underworld, into... She's having very bad roots. And she's trying to reach to their road, to their resources. And almost like, do you see, had this line continued, it would have prevented him from going on this road. But it stops. It stops exactly where he, he, he's got his steps. 
and you see his steps are like forward towards her. Wow, <sighs> this is heavy energy. Uh, also, I heard crescent, new moon crescent energy, reaching towards a new dot, a new star, a new point, a new beginning. Wow. Okay, so this has been the masculine's story with a lot of dark entities from the other side. And as I said, it, it, you see this kind of like a mountain of dark energy here, which in their early life prevented both of them from seeing their true potential here. And, whoa, it's like, for the feminine, this is her mother trying to reach out to her, like, not reach out, but, like, trying to get to where she's at, consciously or subconsciously, I hear both. It's like, she could see her own daughter being so bright, so smart, so perfect, so beautiful, so shining, so everything, and she was envious even though she did not admit it and she never will there were moments this is heavy this is oh this is ugly energy but listen there were moments when this supposed mother was envious that this father was giving more attention to the daughter here and not to her and she wanted to, consciously or unconsciously or both, hinder her from being the attention spot of, of him. Whoa. So it's like a double perspective here. There's one side where... It's like, this is the past. And in the past, this mother has been the play toy of this father. And she got manipulated and controlled by him. And even in moments when he was not present, his influence on her was also affecting the daughter here, this child. Who later on became this feminine. And wow, this is so beautiful. It's like a little belly here. Maybe this is a an omen for coming pregnancy or just abundance. Or it's just... Um, I myself have a little belly. Like, it, my body is like this. No, it's like... No matter what I do, I still have a little belly there. <laughs> so you could be like, this is well. And if you are, this is... Oh, I did not intend on that. I was about to say that it's... Uh, this is something that the masculine likes about you. So you need not consider yourself unattractive. Because if anything about your body, the, 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 your partner loves it. Or it may also, it's like, it may also be a warning for the masculine, like next time you have sexual contact and like I hear for three months, let's say, be very careful because very fertile. <laughs> and this could be... This could be a pet, like in the close future, you as a couple may be having a pet. It's, it depends, it's a, how, however you resonate. But it's, it's also like a child somehow, but it's... I'll come back to it later. <laughs> but no, it, it it draws me.
it's it's like a jewel, a spot of light. It's like whatever your body, however your body is like, it's beautiful. And I see this, this and this here. It's like hair, beautiful long hair. And it's like she's having her hands on her belly. And I see it's like she's somehow jumping with joy. And it's like she's looking at at the camera now. It's like smiling and stuff like that. It's like getting attention from him. And he's in love. It's like look at the look at the head of the masculine here. It goes like you see this? It's like It's like, it's like many ideas, like, um, do you know, I, I got the image of that, I don't know the word for it in English, that thing that Nikola Tesla used to create energy and it's got a, a wire put in a spiral like this many, many times, many, many times, many, many times. I, I don't know the word in English for it. <laughs> in any case, it's it's like his mind, if you're the masculine, okay, wow. It's like, listen to this, baby. You need to pay attention to this. Your mind is creating a lot of energy. You have a lot of mental, create a lot of creative mental energy in you and you can manifest a lot with your thoughts and this is what she's been craving from you and it's like now the more i focused on this only i no longer see this not here i no longer feel this energy here it's like the moment i said you like you your mind your thoughts what you implement with your thoughts with your conscious awareness it's like you you're able to release to just manifest wow Congrats. I was about to say congratulations in my native tongue. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. I, I suppose this uh, this will have a meaning for some. Okay. And you will create so much together. You have such a beautiful road, such a beautiful path together. That, oh baby, wow, it's, it's, and you're meant to go away from all this stupid energy, it's like, this energy, coming back to what I was saying here, it's like, there's this dark mountain of, of a, of a, of an oppressive childhood of the past, and, and it's like, preventing you to see your true potential, There's something beautiful here that I see. It's like the feminine here, as I said, she she's got very high. Some would say aspirations, some would say ambitions, some would say drive, some would say whatever word perspective. That's the word I was looking for. Perspective. Yes, this is the one. Very a very high perspective. It, it, she's able to have like the big picture and, and reach for those big ideals. While he may drop back to be a little bit a little bit more grounded and not in a bad way, and he may be a little like sl slightly more patient than her in terms of some let's say manifestations. But in some cases, in some cases, it's her who is the most patient. But it's like his this thing that I've been feeling here with, with it's like crescent, and it's like he's able to manifest through the dark, through consciousness, to the emptiness of the mind. While she's able to manifest through light, positivity, abundance, aura, sun, energy, boom, baby. <laughs> exactly the combo of Shiva, 
consciousness, the dark divine masculine, and the feminine here, Shakti, who is, as I said, abundance, joy, positive. I'm not saying that you as a masculine, you're not like this. But it's like she's just... <laughs> this bump of energy, this overflow of energy, this... <laughs> And the masculine is able to be more cool and keep keep more calm at certain times and be more analytical well the masculine like the while she's more abusive I heard but not in a bad way. <laughs> It's like that martial energy of just going there. Let's do stuff. <sighs> exactly the Shiv Shakti energies. And she's the, the day. You see the daylight, the, the sun, the energy, the, the light. Well, he's a little bit more like dark, and gloomy, stuff like that. He could even be dark skinned, <laughs> but it's uh, it may not be for everybody. But I'm sensing this, <sighs> and there's a lot. It's it's like the energy of come here, baby. Okay, come here, my baby. <laughs> okay. I see this from her father. It's like blood pouring here. It's like a trench of blood here. And these lines here is like many, many generations before echoing through him like abuse. If there's there's been generational abuse in this family line. Maybe also in his family line, but more on mental hidden stuff. And maybe even energy wise and dark and magic stuff that people have been denying. And she's been the one to trigger it. She's just too, oh, she's, she was powerful and heavy. And just, wow, clingy. Ah, that was the thing. Okay. But now my babies, um, my opinion here is that he deserved it because he chose her. Mm-hmm. In the first place. So whatever lessons he came into, uh -uh, it was by his own choice. Okay. Now, but I, I, I want to stay in this energy of coming together now, of being together, having our own path, going together, just the two of us alone. It's like her shadow will still be somehow felt for like the next three months of this generation. I heard generation. Maybe at some point this would make sense. But I was about... What I wanted to say is this this relationship. Maybe she would somehow affect his child. Do you see the way my hand was shaking at this point? Listen... This is not something I like. And that's why my hand was shaking like that at the thought of it, as I was seeing it. I also saw this in many other Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energy readings. 
There are some masculines who've had a child with this. With this. Just this. And they've been battling for custody. And they couldn't sell you about it. And when they come to you, they would already present you with the child. Wow, this is heavy. It hurts me. It hurts my heart chakra. It hurts me a lot. Wow, I don't like this at all. And the way I saw this, you know how I put that here is like the moment this spot became here, it's like it also covered the feminine steps here. As she was at the beginning with her steps as he is here, he's towards her and she was with her steps towards him. My heart chakra is so heavy right now. Wow, this is so much water, wow. And I, I feel this like this is going to make her pull back and with her hands on her belly, is going to, she's going to be like, I would have wanted us to have a child of our own, like coming from my belly, not another woman's. And it's it's like it's it's heavy. It's like it's something she. Wow, I'm not even daring to say forgiveness at this point. I'm not even daring to say that word, even though I said it. To like I, I did say it in terms of like I'm not daring to say it. But I hope you get the idea. Wow, this is so what the fuck. This is sad. It's just a sad energy, but the, this child would f will feel her as a mother. And maybe I, I want to cry at this point. Maybe this is what will... soften her in this, like, seeing... Is, is, a sense it's a boy and it's like seeing his openness towards her. I want to cry so much. Wow. It's like she can understand a child who feels like an orphan even though the parents are still alive. I want to cry. This is a sad story. I told you this is going to be a long reading. The video uh, got interrupted because I got a call. So uh, this may be a sign for some of you. If you've been expecting a call. Now, I feel like saying this. This may also be a sign for some. It's been a call from uh, the the owner of the studio I live in and because I, I, I it's a rental situation Ugh. and lately this is a timeless reading but lately there have been like the energies have been those of wanting your own space your own property to live in to not give up anything uh, for anyone anymore in that manner. And uh, that's why I felt like saying this. Maybe it's going to be a signal for some. So, this is the... These are the energies I felt. I, I also want to add here with this trail of blood here. It's like you have washed 
an entire generation of, of trauma, of abuse, of... And I, I need not describe your father to you. It's just abuse. And... It's like he accumulated in him all the abuse of the generations before. And he would have turned it into a, uh, an even bigger legacy for his child had that child not been you. He would have turned it into an even bigger generational thing going on of abuse had you not broken it. And it's kind of... When he dies, and I, I sense he's going to die soon, and this makes me glad, he's gonna die in a violent way, and his blood is going to pour and wet the ground. You may see it, you, you may see it not. But when his blood wets the ground, this gets cleaned. It's like he's the last. And it's like, it's, it's washed with his blood. The way he dies, it's going to be really violent and the way he deserves it. Because he's been a, a really violent person. Like, abuser. So, maybe he's gonna get beaten till he dies. Maybe he's gonna get abused and, and killed and stuff like that. It's just something that, or have his cut throat, his throat cut. Something like that that is going to make his blood pour and wet the ground. And this is gonna wash you with joy, tears of joy here. At least in my case, this this is what happens. <sighs> okay. And this is gonna clear, energetically clear your own road as well. It's like you may need some distancing, like going here this way, but then you will no longer feel in danger from his energy to, to go like the road goes this way, you know, the way you've always wanted to grow. This, this kind of your ability to, to, to reach high. <sighs> okay, I sense this is kind of the reading, but it's like there is something still left with the masculine. It's like a secret something. That is just not coming out. It's like a heavy darkness energy here that he has to speak out this is why it's not coming out it's his duty his purpose his karma to speak it out and it will be a joy a liberation a jewel of the mind for him to to realize the the results of what this is going to bring. Both inner-wise and outside. Maybe in the outside it's going to take longer for the results to come. But inner-wise it's, it's going to... I, I sense the liberation of the third eye chakra. And with this I feel like this is it. It's like this is the secret. Once he speaks it. It's like, you see, speak, speech is about the throat chakra. 
So once he liberates that, his energy could go up, can go up to the third eye as well. And then his crown, obviously. But once his energy reaches the third eye, lots of things are going to unfold. It's like this. It's, it's. You are going to have your on your own. I'm not saying necessarily outside of a relationship. No, it's like you're, you're in communication when this happens and you're, you are together. Not together in a sense of a seven years marriage, seven year long marriage, but together in a, in a way of you being able to put your head on his shoulder and feeling him protect you in that manner, feeling him being there, even though he had just barely started being there, but you can sense him being there. And it's not the thing of just trying. He is there. When this happens, when this boom of yours happens. And he's gonna join. Okay, this is what, uh, what I... See, hear, feel with this. My eyes just fell on this. On this heavy supposed father energy. It's like a mountain crushing down, crumbling. It's like the peak right now has already been hit. And the mountain, the structure of the mountain doesn't want to fall. I sense like there's something not even wanting me to speak of this. Nice. It's, it's, it's a heavy denial that it's, it's... Maybe he even feels it. He even feels a, an end drawing near, coming close. Like a divine justice, punishment that he deserves. Like his jaw being broken and then him being cut to pieces into a slaughterhouse because this is what he made. And uh, it's, it's punishment. And it will also echo into this one. Like, at the time he's having his own punishment, so does she. It's, there. there's a lightning striking him, which is like this, this, I see the lightning striking the peak of the mountain and the peak crumbling and then the whole structure of the mountain being swollen by lava and melted, destroyed in pain and blood. Wow. And then, immediately afterwards, the same lightning is going to strike right into the eye of the storm here with her. And it's like everything she took away from him is going to be her tombstone. It's going to fall all over her. And literally be her, her tombstone. And it's like on, on the on her tombstone is something like here lies no one. But not no one in a good way, in the good way of no one. No one in terms of no one will know of you. No one will care for you. No one will weep for you. You are unloved and cared for. These are her issues. This is why she acted like this all the time. She wanted to be loved. That's why she was dragging him to her. Trying to drag love to her. That's not how it works. Maybe she'll die literally as well. Maybe there is death on both sides. This would be fantastic. 
Maybe she'll literally die. And then that would be a, a strong liberation for him because then he would no longer have to fight for the custody of the child. And also some inheritance would go to the child. I don't know, stuff like that. But after I said that, I was looking at this. It's like this whole experience... Like, she helped him grow this. This Once this happens, this turns into a bigger, brighter star. That he uses to unify and solidify. Like, unify himself with, with his true partner, with his true equal, his true love, his true feminine, and solidify this union afterwards. I, I hear there's going to be death. And my crown chakra opened very soon, very fast. There's a road trickled in blood, the blood of revenge, the blood of justice, divine justice coming in and pouring in, pouring out, I said. I heard. <laughs> okay. I, I said, I said, me, the me, to myself, and me, the incarnate one, heard. This is it, and the sands of time are drawing near, I heard. They're going to be soaked in blood. The blood of divine justice, divine vengeance, of love. And design. And with this there, as I said, my, my energy, my kundalini just goes up and up and up and up again. And up and up and up. I love you. This has been your coffee reading. It's fantastic. And do care to note that this is a um, clay pot. It's not a pot. It's, look, this looks like a nine now. It's like the union that's been happening. This is a um, clay. <sighs> clay bowl. Dish, whatever. No, I, I, English is not my mother tongue. <laughs> um, if you can gaze into these lines and find their meaning for you very well. This is like, this is like a snake. And this is like a sword raising to cut it somehow. These are like trails of energy, like a portal. Gazing into new perspectives, new worlds, new realms. Okay, this has been a marvelous reading. I loved doing it for you. Now, in terms of the cards, manifestations, and I hear mm, the moment is coming soon is drawing near and coming soon and the moment you realize why your manifestations have been delayed you might have been getting intuitive messages in your dreams but know that everything is by grand design so my intention was to say that there is purpose but I heard like, at the same time, my intention, probably, I don't know, was to say nothing happens by purpose. It's like when nothing happens by purpose. Uh, there is some divine intervention going on. It, 
it's like when nothing seems to happen by purpose it's because there needs to be divine purpose pulled in to strike I, I don't know I think like, it's a it's a heavy energy it's, a, it's a, somewhat of a confusion energy but it's like the as much as as what I sensed previously with the sense of time are drawing near it's like with these circles in the water it's like you're going to get to the root cause of it and you're going to see the reason for all of it for all of these delays now I sense there's been noise around you lately do protect yourself with high vibing frequencies music that resonates high and and do care to look for the way the instruments are to attuned like you know there are certain frequencies which are beneficial for us and just go on with your purpose I saw that orb there. Thank you. I I was princess of summer, so there may be a lot of summer going on. <laughs> or just I heard summer solstice and a lot of heavy energy crumbling. Now I'm looking at the astrological entities, I was about to say, astrological associations with this card. Interesting thing is that this card starts with the first decan of the crab, known as Kansa. And it's, if you don't know, well, it's basically the beginning of the crab season. And so third decan of Scorpio. Now, this is a whole season. Something that would Span for a whole season, probably, maybe, but it's like a the divine strike will ha will happen soon and fast, like a bolt. But the way the mountain will be crumbling, will be falling, is like melting into lava, into a pool of lava. I stopped the video to look at the astrological associations of this and it's uh, it's been 33, the seconds were 33, the minute was 20 and 33 seconds. This may be a synchronicity. The astrological associations of this are Venus and Mercury in the crab, and then the moon. It's gonna hit home. Something is gonna hit home. I heard run. Stay or run, I heard. Some people are gonna want to make you stay, and you are gonna run. That's it. <laughs> okay. And you're gonna have support for uh, running away.
Isn't it interesting that there's this fork here? I wasn't intending on this. Maybe this proves something to someone. And it's worth noticing that I did not say this shows. I did not say this is a synchronicity or a message or a sign for someone. I said this is going to prove something to someone. Maybe if you've had no trust, no belief in something lately, it's, uh, it's going to be proven to you. Shown to you somehow. My eyes were drawn to that flower. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna leave this energy for now. It's... It's beautiful. There's a tower happening and a crumbling of dark unwanted energies. Rejoice. Enjoy. Enjoy the show. It's a, it's a gift to you, for you. You're gonna have to watch it. I love you so much. Stay home and stay safe and be blessed. You are blessed. Hello, my beautiful babies. Welcome to your reading. You are attracted to the beautiful carnelian stones. Pleasure, passion, sensuality, sexuality, abundance, creativity. I heard plants. For some, maybe there are plans for creativity, for creative projects. Or maybe they are coming to fruition, or maybe they will come to fruition soon. Six months, I hear more or less. There's something with six months. Uh, careful, because lunar cycles come to fruition in six months. Like, the, the energy of a new moon right now let's say right now the new moon is in crab it really it's really been in crab and at the time of a full moon in the crab sign the energy is gonna come to to fruition this energy of the new moon in the sign is gonna it's gonna come to fruition in, at the full moon in the same sign and this happens at, uh, at, at six months. <sighs> or it may be that this next full moon happening from when you're watching this reading is going to echo from six months ago. Let's say this month, the full moon is going to be... I don't want to mention that sign. <laughs> Let's say full moon in Aries. Re rewind back to the moment when there was a new moon in Aries. And whatever plans, wishes, desires you had at that point, by the way, desires, that's going to be reflected through results at this point of the full moon in the same sign. Okay. Now, your cards. Kurukula, very interesting, resonating a lot with the carnelian stones. I'll, I'll tell you about this, but let's see the, all the energies. Not of Isis. This is beautiful energy. Energetic stabilization with the buckle of the beloved. This is a, a lot of feminine energy. And the Hierophant. I'll leave the scars as they are like this. Now, the... Okay, 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 okay. I've seen the, 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 the moon, a sign of the moon here. Since I put this to... this All this coffee to dry. And that shape there... Reminded me of, of moon, of the moon, crescent moon, and not just crescent, it's close to being first quarter or last quarter. So, um, things happening for you 
may be at the interval of the first quarter or the last quarter of the moon or both and or it's it, it may be something about someone born at a quarter moon first or last quarter moon <sighs> this is heavy powerful energy mm, without mm, <laughs> it's and it's 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 coming from the side and look at the, I, I don't wanna I don't even want to mix the to, to, to play around with the coffee anymore at least for for the beginning of the reading because it really looks like the sky and there is something trickling here from the buckle of the beloved the thing is that the story with this card is that it's the buckle of Isis. I was tying things with this knot in order to magically create a buckle for stabilization. Energetic stabilization through challenging times. The Hierophant here, this card, the thing is that for me, this card once came long ago. It feels like an year ago, it wasn't an year ago, but it feels like. Mm, without mm, came as a, an omen for the time, for timing for when something would happen so this may be an omen for you like had you been waiting for something to happen this may be an omen it's going to happen soon at the same time it's Taurus the Hierophant is Taurus and it's number five it may be something with five months I, I also heard six months I was about to say five months but I heard six again six months with the moon and it may be union of some sorts. I see marriage with these two people here. It may be something in terms of unifying you. My hand is trembling a lot. There may be a lot of shivering. A lot of shivering emotions and shivering energies. The air is getting heavier to breathe. I need to, to open the windows. Hold on a bit. It was 6.44. 6 minutes and 44 seconds into the reading. Okay. Okay. I was having, and I am having, things on the burner right now. And I sense you may be having to in the good way like you may be spiritually cooking something for yourself and <sighs> maybe this was a, a reminder to like remind yourself to air your own space while you cook what you're cooking. I, I, blah. <laughs> I don't necessarily like this kind of metaphors. I like metaphors, but not this kind of metaphors, but you may like it. Some of you may. <sighs> and you may just be resonating with it. It's... And it's like, don't only be focused on that which is cooking while it's cooking like don't stay there <sighs> I'm gonna use the whole allegory the whole physical allegory with the food here you know when you have something on the burner and it's cooking it's boiling don't you don't stay there physically near to it for the whole time it's cooking if it's taking long if it's taking just a very few minutes 
no, it may be okay for some people to stay there. But when it's taken so long, you're not gonna stay there. And it's... <sighs> okay, now we're getting to something. Manifestations go the same way. Don't stay just focused on on something while it's in the preparation, while you're preparing it. Also be able to air the room, to allow energy to circulate in the room so that you'd be able to breathe. Other than that, I don't sense any any anything as a warning, as a anything negative, as a heaviness I at the beginning I was about to say it's a heavy feminine energy but that's because I myself am coming from some long months of heavy energy mm. and it might have been resonating from that it's also maybe from the past something heavy from the past that you're able to release and when I said that, I was attracted to the knot of Isis here. Energetic, energetic stabilization with the buckle of the beloved. This energetic stabilization is required at times of chaos, at times of, you know, when, oh, I get it. Times when you don't understand what is going on. But now, what I sense here, this is not the case. This is what has been happening. And right now, you're able... It, it is the moment to untie this knot because you need not be like you're safe thing with the with this buckle is that the one who needs protection is in the middle here in the space here and whatever else happens around them they are energetically stable here in this space no matter what is happening. But this is required at times when what is happening around is chaotic, is turbulent, is disturbing. But that period is over. That time is over. Whatever is happening right now is like... This being uh, the depiction of old Egyptian walls. It, it, it's like what I see are sands. And do you know, it's, it's like previously there's been a storm, but now the wind, coming back to allowing air to, to flow, to come for energy to circulate, is that now the wind in this image that I'm getting gratefully, I'm so very grateful to myself for, that, for this gift, it's like sand... Finally, I am not, it's like I completely forgot the word for it. Finally laying on the ground, finally, finally, it's like, it's like the air, the wind just finally settles, that's the word, settles the storm and the sand is no longer like, like waves of sand that have been happening in the last time in the last part of your life and it's you, like you haven't been able to see too much unless you were turning within fully within the moon here also remember I, I, i'm getting this i'm sensing this very powerfully that thing what i was feeling with the six months fruition time of the lunar cycles from new moon to full moon in the same sign it may have to do with Taurus, with moon and Taurus. either new moon in Taurus and then full moon in Taurus, either the other other way around it's uh but why would it be the other way around in any case it's um <laughs> maybe the other way around refers to scorpio 
In any case, oh, this is powerful because at the time when I'm shooting this, the north and south nodes of the moon are on the axis of Taurus, Scorpio. Currently, the north node is in Taurus and the south node is in Scorpio. And this is interesting because with these two, two stones here, it's like a... You, you know, these were the eclipses. Wherever the nodes of the moon are, those are the signs that the eclipses happen in. And they happen at the six months ratio. So it may also be a thing about eclipses and the north and south nodes. It may, again, this reading being timeless. It's not required for things for for this for this energy to be in Taurus Scorpio necessarily. It may just be about where the north and south nodes are, Rahu and Ketu. And time of eclipses may be very powerful for you. Well, they are very powerful for everyone. <laughs> Now, what I see, I was talking about the thing that at first I was about to say there's a heavy feminine energy, but it's not heavy as in terms of, the, as I said, the last time of our lives has been really heavy, tumultuous, struggling. But now, as I saw here, as I see here, the sands have been settling. It's... You're ready to untie this knot and allow yourself to be safe and feel safe in something that has been turning. It's like a whole desert. It's like you, you move in a circle, you do a full 360 grades. You take a full 360 grades look at your surroundings right now after you untie this knot because it is safe for you to, to do so. You can feel safe in your surroundings at this point. There is no one going to hurt you anymore. Well, gratefully. <laughs> and you look around and for, let's say, three quarters of your view, there is a desert. It's beautiful. You like it. Because it's silent. And then in the last quarter, by the way, quarters, in the last quarter of this perspective you have, you see an oasis. There is an oasis and you can bathe in it and take refuge in it, I'm hearing. This is so very beautiful and so very powerful. And it's, I was sensing this... <laughs> I was about to say green energy, but I heard heavy, dark green energy. So I'm getting back to that Taurus Scorpio axis because Taurus is green, things that grow, and Scorpio is darkness, the, the dark side, the shadow, the, even heaviness, but heaviness, emotional struggles, power, and stuff like that. So, <laughs> maybe what I'm gonna say is not gonna make sense for some, but um, the power you've been dragging with you has been so heavy on you and others lately that it needed release a wise release it's like a Scorpio's sting 
that you stang yourself with. And people were afraid. Because you died and you've been through it. And you resurrected yourself. And they were afraid of you. And your power. To do so. Whew, I love this. I absolutely love this. It's like maybe this is... It's, it's even why I, I, I did not feel the need to... Move. You see? I did not feel the need to move this coffee around anymore in order to make new shapes and see the message because it's it's the thing of settling it may also be the thing of settling somewhere physically like a house a property something my eyes go back to the hierophant here and possibly marriage like your life changing after marriage stuff like that <clears throat> And a crown being put on your head. It, it's like the crown of union with the divine partner. And the crown of, the crown of your own kingdom. of Walking, stepping into your own kingdom. Because this is the, the very kingdom. Like this sand that is settling at this point. Which this kingdom... The last phase... The thing is this, your kingdom has always been your kingdom, existing from before time. Let this be known, this is known. But in the manifested world, in this kind of dimension where there is time, there needed to be some unfolding of events in order to... Not just... Not... not build this kingdom because as i said it existed from before time but more enough bringing this kingdom to the earth and the way this happened was through the storm through this heavy shake of energies of it's like do you know those little things that there are balls and in in them there's a a something maybe a house or just something and they may be with representing snow but here i'm getting the desert so imagine sand in, in, instead of snow and when you shake them that thing those <coughs> uh, <laughs> this is a sign of luck and when you shake them those things seem as if it's snowing when they fall back to the, to the ground of it it creates the impression of snow of, of snow falling and it's like the unseen forces needed to shake up the whole thing in the manifested so that now this whole storm settles and with the storm the last triggers have been triggered the last triggers which were required to remove the unwanted energies in your life and the unwanted presences in your life and ironically i know for removing them they had to come around you to be seen to be seen and spat at <laughs> and removed had they still been lurking in the shadows, you would have not been able to remove them from your life. That's why the whole stabilization in the buckle of the beloved, that's why this whole storm needed to happen. Because there, as I said, those were the last and most potent, most powerful triggers of your manifested actualization, I'm hearing, is like making you step into your power 
and sit on your throne. And this is the main message. Now, with Kurukula, this is... Me, as Kurukula, I grant you the ability to repel the negative and attract the positive. Repel that which you do not want, which you differ from, and attract and preserve that which resonates with you and the people meant to be in your circle. But for this crisis to happen, you had to be alone. For the removal of toxic, unwanted energies, you had to be alone. There had to be a moment of silence and of solitude. Silence within a circle of madness. To put you in your power so that you can guide others still. Okay. This here, the way this coffee dried, it's exactly like cracked earth. Hold on, I want to get back to the feminine energy here. I want to emphasize the fact that I was... I sense a very stable, dedicated, feminine energy and there's, as I said, a lot of tranquility happening from now on. The next cycle, the next phase of your life is going to be more silent in terms of real silence that you want and deserve. Peace. And you may be coming into contact with people you deserve in your life. There may be preparation for motherhood as well. Maybe this is what the message with cooking, what you're cooking or brewing. <sighs> okay. Maybe you're preparing now the environment for motherhood consciously or not and look how my fingers were like when i said motherhood it's like this and this here is like a gift from the divine trickling down into your reality and this is the moon the moon does represent motherhood maybe your next born or first born is going to be born at a quarter moon or close to a quarter moon because it's kind of still not yet quarter. It's like, also here, there's not a full circle line here. It's kind of here, I see there's kind of a cloud making the moon seem like this when the moon would have been like really round here. It's not a really round line, this. So it's kind of like a cloud coming somehow into the moon or fading from the moon. And the moon pouring them some, some happiness as well. It's like this, the way this ray of the moon, I see, I see this as, as a ray of the moon, is echoed in this shape here, you see? It's like, and I, I sense this as milk somehow, it's like, like a pool of milk. You may be living close to a river, a stream of water, or a body of water, some of you. But... Solstice. There is solstice. 
and there will be rain soon. Rain's wet, a heavy ground that hasn't seen productivity in quite a while and make this whole land green again. Grounding, obviously, and a lot of motherhood energies. Just motherhood. Maybe you coming into your motherhood potential. This is beautiful. And I somehow want to cry with it because it's a sweet energy. I was about to say some heavy home space. But again, this heavy... This heavy... Thing that I'm feeling is like heavy stemming from a heavy period but this heavy word that I'm using here is like power you're so powerful that it's quite heavy on other people they can feel it when you walk in you rule the ground it's like it's like a big step like a giant step on the ground it's very beautiful some of you may be moving into desert areas or deserted areas, isolated areas. I want to do this. I heard some of you saying, no. You may be digging. You may be turning into... You may be turning your... I see this as... A newly acquired property and you may be turning it into a garden, a land, a soil that hasn't been used in a long time. You may be turning it into a garden now or some of you may be making a pool there, a lake somehow or dragging some irrigation system from a nearby lake or river. But there's a, a pool... I heard wedding for some of you. Something like a gift from a wedding. A flower. This is a flower. This is a rose. <sighs> planting, as I said. Maybe you're planting your own food right now. And you love it. Again, Taurus energy. Maybe now you have the money to... Dedicate yourself, because I was feeling this thing of dedicated feminine energy. Dedicate yourself to your whole projects. Projects coming from passions. And you like it very much. And it's like a, it blossoms now and it blooms. It's a, it's a full bloom of energy. It's like a full release. And you're able to take care of your plants. Allow them to grow. It's like I, it, I see this. You even have a greenhouse. And it's just growing. Things are growing. And a lot of soil. For some of you for whom this does not apply physically, it's, it's metaphorically. But for the first of you, like the, the, the first people who are going to watch this, like in time, this may be viewed by many people and for some, it's going to be more metaphorical. But the first people to watch this for you this is going to be actual things that I'm talking about here like with the soil, house, plants movement, planting growing food, growing flowers growing stuff, trees things blossoming in your life oh. I hear you're able to put your feet on the ground, on soil, on solid ground, on stable ground. It's like me as Kurukula. I live in in nature and in in places that are uninhabited, and it's like you're able to turn an uninhabited 
previously uninhabited area into a fully habited into a full home for you it's like a gift from 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 your inner self from your true self to you this is beautiful and such a beautiful flower that they see here <sighs> pink rose a rose or just any any color you want to see it as but it's just it, it's, it's just bloom strawberry moon i heard for some <laughs> maybe things are gonna happen at that point oh okay and you're gonna have so much abundance that you'll be able to allow yourself to give to others as well finally <laughs> i heard more than you wish somehow like you're gonna have more than you wish and you are gonna be able to give to others m more than you wished you will. Wow. And see yourself in that position of the giver is uh, nice. It's like a mama. Beautiful mama. Offering flowers to the soil and food to her children. This is so beautiful of an energy. I love it so much. I love you, my babies. Go shine, come shine. Be potent, be beautiful, be powerful. Stand always in your power. I love you so much. Mama loves you. Hello, my babies. Welcome to your reading. You were attracted to the energy generator yeah and I felt like you s you saw the cards were like there and I pulled them a little closer to me so I, there might be a thing of you wanting to draw some more energy to yourself or some more attention to yourself and thing is I was feeling a lot of Leo energy with this and if you don't know Leo is about attention like all eyes on me <laughs> And um, being the star. But thing is that I want to start with the coffee. Not necessarily, like not entirely. I just want to show you something on the plate. Like on, on the plate on which I <sighs> dried the coffee. I also put uh, like randomly. Randomly, you know how things happen. Synchronicities happen. Um parsley some like two leaves of parsley here and they dried so kind of like four <laughs> somehow looks like a, like a butterfly but what I see this as is a laurel wreath and I wanted to look at this first and show this first because as I took the plate for the reading and even before I was seeing this as a laurel wreath you know in ancient times the winner of a sports competition of a competition but especially sports competition would be crowned with a wreath of laurel so laurel symbolizes victory now the reason i wanted to oh, okay okay i wanted to talk about this first is because in that zero there is a card where there is the, the character there has a wreath there are more actually um, there is not just one. There are more characters in Seiro who have um, a wreath of laurel. And I wanted to talk about this because I was, I, I'm getting the intuitive sight of this as a laurel wreath prior to seeing what this Seiro card is. And I wanted to talk about it 
as I said prior to seeing the zero card and we'll see. This energy generator, it had crystals for each chakra, but the two points for the throat and the, the third eye chakras broke. But this is not a bad thing, because this, as this remained, I see it as a sun. It really symbolizes a sun. It's it's all the warmth of the sun with enlightenment and heart. So <laughs> this is my sun symbol at this point. And the um, square here. In Hindu depictions, in Hindu symbolism, the square represents stability, it represents the earth element. So if you've been looking for this lately, it might come to you very soon or might already be there. Um, now, the cartomancy energies, Krishna would this uh, fire, fire baby, fire. This card talks about everything being possible and you being able to achieve things which might seem impossible. And I... This is the first time I sense the importance of the white garment in this card by association with the clear quartz here. Now, for those of you who are interested, this is a Venturine. This is yellow jade. I love you, my babies. This is carnelian. This is red jasper. And I strongly feel it with the skin here, red. And this is clear quartz. And as I said, this is enlightenment. This pertains to the crown chakra. This is the element of fire, the solar plexus. But I sensed a lot of Leo energy and Leo is a fire element. Again, look at the color of the plate, my babies. There are, there are a lot of synchronicities in this reading. <laughs> Serpents of fire, priestess of the serpent sisterhood. Synchronicity after synchronicity. Things may be going so smoothly for you, like, baby. I was talking to you about the fact that this was an energy generator in the first place and it had crystals for each chakra. Now, the serpent here is the Kundalini and the Kundalini, the journey of the Kundalini is through all the main seven chakras. Okay, it's not one of the characters with a laurel wreath. It's the Queen of Pentacles. Stability, baby. You've been waiting for money to come in and material resources. It comes from your spiritual work. Both in terms of your spiritual work being a spiritual work you do on yourself and the spiritual work you do like you being a spiritual teacher for others a guide for others a mentor on one hand on another hand there may be some of you who are not like mentors spiritual mentors you may be mentors in other fields but you may find someone There are more things I'm getting here. This is very interesting. This is a very interesting energy with a lot of mixed in messages and signals. Like I heard mixed in signals. <laughs> okay. It's like the thing of a radio station that many people tune to it. And <laughs> there has to come a message for everyone there. So as I said, on one hand, there is this thing of you being the spiritual mentor. And there are further messages for each 
category involved, but I first mentioned the categories involved here, the categories of people involved here. There was this one first category. Another one is people who have been seeking for a spiritual mentor, a spiritual teacher, someone to guide them on their spiritual path. And the thing is that for you, I sense it's kind of like a surprise for you because for those of you who've been looking for a masculine mentor, you will find a feminine one you resonate very well with. And those of you who've been looking for a feminine mentor, you'll be very surprised to, like, alongside this road, you may find a feminine in the first place, but with her, you will find a masculine whom you will learn a lot from. And for each case, these people are going to be not just mentors, but powerful examples for you. The third category is some of you may be mothers or there may even be the case of like maybe three of you, I don't know, very few of you who have been very caring fathers for their children. It's like for these few of you, you might have taken care of your child alone. So you had to be both father and mother. But you did it very well. Congratulations. Now, this child, for any of you, whether you're a woman, a mother, a man, a father, this I'm getting something now. This is for the other people involved here. I know it's confusing. There are many types of people listening to this. So as I said, many signals involved. I'll get back to the child story, though, for those of you who already have a child. Those of you who don't have a child, you may have twins. And I sense this one here... Um, there are some of you who've only been attracted to this pile like for this message alone strictly to find out that you'll have twins not necessarily you may still want to, to stick around and listen to further messages you'll know what resonates with you I feel like there is still something for you here it, it, like it, it will click it will feel like a vibrant message Okay. <laughs> now, in any case, both for those of you who have a child already and those of you who don't have a child but you're going to have twins, I sense some of you sound like someone is crying with joy at this point. You've wanted twins. <laughs> this is beautiful. And no, they are not gonna look like this. No. <laughs> This is just a mythological depiction. They're going to be normal, like twins, each one with their body. Okay. Mm, this child of yours is a very special child, not special in the bad meaning of a special child, no, special in the meaning of a, of a very powerful soul, able to achieve a lot and here incarnate to achieve a lot. There's a small group of you, those of you who are mother, who have mistaken, who have done wrong, to this child, you haven't understood them. At the same time, there are... <laughs> wow, there are so many people in this, in this group. <laughs> wow. <laughs> At the same time, those of you who are masculine, like those of you who are men listening to this message, 
it's... It's like your mother did you wrong. But you're able to forgive her, I hear. Somehow, and it's like you might be able to further heal, heal yourself through your own child. It's, it's sad. Even though it's like you first have to obviously heal your inner child, but you already know that. It's like... You will feel some balanced karma once you grow your own child right, your own son right. Okay. <laughs> there were many messages with this. Just with the cards. I sense there will still be messages with the cards, especially with the Queen of Pentacles here. Those of you who are male and single, whether you are already a father or whether not, there's this powerful feminine whom you will soon have a relationship with. Wow, there are still many messages here. It's like... There's also the thing of you. Those of you who are put in front of a decision to women or to partners. You're looking to waves. It's this one. And for those of you who already know, it's, it's this one. It's like... She'll fall. She'll fall away from you. She'll fall like an old structure crumbling to pieces because of its inner decay. Okay. And this is for those of you who are like Regardless of your sex now or predominant energy, whether you're man or woman, whether you're, um, your predominant energy is feminine or masculine. Had you been dependent on family resources, you will no longer need them. Very soon and very often, There is something with very often. <laughs> very soon and very often. Like, maybe it's either like you're gonna make money very often and no longer need them or just maybe you might have needed money from them very often I feel like this is this makes more sense and uh, you're not gonna need them anymore very soon like very soon it's gonna surprise you how soon it is and you're gonna shine bright like Listen, I myself, like, I feel this one being 
for me as well. And for those of you who are doubtful about this, I understand you completely. This energy here talks about something which you consider impossible. It may not be impossible to achieve like in this lifetime, but you just sense it as impossible to achieve very soon. It could be this exact thing of money and dependency, material dependency on family issues <laughs> and resources, family resources, and because of family resources, there are issues. Like, <sighs> there are issues in this family because this family is broken anyways. It's like full of stupid people. You could sense, <laughs> you could sense the personal involvement in this message <laughs> right there. But thing is that this is what this message here talks about. Something very soon that you think impossible is going to happen and it's going to be through your own efforts. It's an achievement and it's going to put you in a position of power and public recognition where like as i said in the beginning the sun energy where you just shine you're the the mentor again i heard and you just receive you also give but by you giving you also receive that's the rule of having a job, basically. So you're no longer going to need this person. Now, whether this person is a partner or a mother figure or both, she's going to crumble and she's going to remain alone. And thing is that as much as you were depending on her financially, she was depending on you emotionally and she was using this material the, the thing of material resources even though on the surface it feels like even though on the surface she might have complained a lot about you needing her and calling for her help so often and so much but she liked it Subconsciously, she liked it and she wanted you in this position so that you depend on her because she knows that the moment you stand in your power, you will not need, you will not have any kind of need for her anymore and therefore she will disappear from your life. You will not talk to her anymore. And she knows this and she fears this and that's why she subconsciously pulls you to still needing her anymore and anymore you see wow th this is such a pff, such a twisted energy <laughs> like i want to say something and the opposite of it interferes this is wow oh, okay this person might be a capricorn fuck listen at the same time like whether you know it or not, there's there's a card in Tarot called the Devil, but I no longer have it in my deck because I burnt it. That card represents well, Devil, toxic energy, negativity, like where she comes from and what she stirs in, and what your family represents here. You may have a lot of Capricorns in your family, or just your whole family might have that mentality. Basically, a lot of people in the world have Capricornian mentalities of just going to work and nothing else. Not being able to live their lives. And babies, it's 20-something minutes into this reading and I, like, it's only on the cards. Wow, <laughs> this is nice. Whew. 
It was 23 minutes and 11 seconds and nice synchronicities and 23 by hours means 11 as well. <laughs> okay. So you'll be able to have your own money, as I said, thanks to your own effort, your own achievements, and I heard your own sky. What I sense by this is your astrological placement. If you want to dive uh, in them with me, together, <laughs> you can contact me. So basically, she's just gonna die alone and unloved by anyone. One more message, those of you who are masculine. And you have a child with this person. The custody of that child is yours. Know it, fight for it, and know that you'll receive it. And you'll, for you, this might be the the the, the thing you think impossible. And it's gonna come to you very fast and like a through a lightning strike of divine will. And the child is very spiritual, very evolved soul. Okay, and those of you who think that if you're interested in another woman, she may not receive you with this child, she will. Maybe not at first, but she will. And she will care for this child, she'll love him. And this child is very much like you. Know it that, that he's very much like you. Okay, so there's a rupture between these people and this. Oh, I was talking about the devil card. <laughs> See, they want me to forget about it. I burned that devil card from my deck, so I no longer have it. But for some of you, it might have been the Devil card instead of this Queen of Pentacles. Just for some. But I don't need that Devil card to, to sense this energy as being the, the energy of a toxic person. <laughs> and... She'll just remain alone with her resources and be like, realize how alone she is and how worthless they are, actually. But she will not admit it. Fuck her. Whew. Okay. Coming back to our own business. This is another message, business. Your business will take off and, and those of you who haven't started it yet or barely started, your business is able to stand. Your business is on, on a solid structure. And for those of you for whom results have been delayed, it's because it's such a heavy structure. It needs to be strong and it, it, it's like a house. The bigger the house is, the longer it takes to build the foundation. But it's in the ground, you don't see it. But without that foundation, the whole house would not stand. So, real, physical, getting out of the toxic energy here, even though it's still lingering with the mother issues. But this card also took, it's the queen of pentacles, okay, money. And material resources, generally, it's... And this is also the archetype of someone who's able to do a lot of things at once. Like, have a job, have a social life, take care of family, take care of the house, uh, take care of herself, uh, blah, 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 many things. 
you're able to be the manager of your own business again leo energy sun energy in astrology this is about owning your own business wow i'm sorry for being for such a long reading but it is just i love it it's a lot and i love it there are blah, blah, there are many good messages and powerful messages and there's a lot of powerful energy like you'll be surprised by your own self of like how much you can achieve thing is that those of you who are women slash feminines you already know you trust yourselves already it's just that results have been delayed a little but at the same time those results will surprise you nonetheless but you already stand you already have the confidence those of you who are masculines you might still have some doubt and it will shock you to the ground to see how much you can achieve uh, wow like wow <laughs> this kind of energy wow it's 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 like a lightning coming from and through your own whole body energizing you with tremendous fire and you will be like whoa and the, it's it's gonna be a sudden realization of you understanding you can achieve a lot and that moment from that moment on you're gonna get going on it baby i love this okay and therefore business energy ooh. there's a the moment these two energies feminine and masculine come together that business is gonna go like <laughs> okay <clears throat> Now think what this is a very peculiar way the coffee dried because it's just look at it looks like a moon <laughs> like even you know those depictions of the moon with a face and he, like here's the nose <laughs> it's like something shooting from the eye somehow but it's a moon. <laughs> and it's a very serene energy, like rest. Also things, receiving messages, seeing things in your sleep. Also, this coffee that I had, I also had it with wine. I was about to say, yes, I, I, I was also drinking wine. <laughs> but I did not mix them. <laughs> But I did put in this coffee, honey. Prior to saying honey, I was about to say winter. I heard winter. I was about to say winter. So maybe that's a message for you. But I, I mixed it with honey. Not sugar, honey. And it's sticky here. This is, this is where honey went. And here it's sticky. And... Yeah, that's where it's most sticky. So, um, <laughs> there may be some sweetness coming in for you from a sticky situation. <laughs> I know it's surprising. At the same time, it's like you might have been metaphorically metaphorically blah, 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 speaking traveling through a land of marshes lately and now you're coming to the light it's like the bogs that you've been that you've had to go through are no longer gonna be dirty and then <sighs> I know this sounds uh, weird but the next time you gonna drown in something or fall in be sweet and the cook of it is gonna be a sweet energy mm. 
this is how I feel it. For other mm, piles, I mm, mixed it, mixed it, did this. But for you, because of this coffee was with honey, you see, it doesn't want to, doesn't want to move. You may have a very stable energy and you may be very stubborn. But this will take you somewhere. <laughs> and it's like an. You see? This whole line here is because of the honey. And it's hard at this point. It's like you have a shell. You might have some crab energy. Cancer. Astrologically speaking. Because this energy is the energy of being sweet, but also having a protective shell at the same time, like the crab. Soft on the inside, but with a strong armor on the outside, in order to protect yourself, your own emotions. <sighs> or it might be that through such an experience, you learned how to be visible emotionally, but at the same time protect yourself. Like, a protect, defend your emotions. Making them visible, talking about them. And exactly protecting them. By doing so. And also, you're very balanced and this helps you a lot. Because here it's, it seems dry, it's like, it seems like earth. And here, the traces of honey are still seen, and it seems as if it's wet. And with this orange energy, it's a lot of joyous energy, a lot of child, vibrant, playful energy. A lot of sweet, serene sexuality may be coming in to you, for you, this upcoming, these upcoming months. And for those of you who want to keep this connection, it's gonna stay. And you're gonna stay vibrant for all, all your life. But you're very stubborn again. <laughs> It's, again, this helps you a lot. It's like, at this point, I feel there are repetitive messages, but at the same time, there is still a message that has to come out. That I'm not still seeing. But it's like, I feel I could have seen it had I been able to... Aha! Uh -huh. Wow. So, you may have to dig a lot to find the answers you're looking for. In your own psyche. The answers are there already in your own psyche, in your own emotions, in your own subconscious. You're a very old soul. And all these scars that you've gathered lately, you can heal them. And abandon them, I hear. As soon as you're out of this situation and out of this place where all trauma occurred from, you're gonna abandon them for good. I feel like this is the message. I feel like this was the message, and with this message, you, you have all your answers. Or at least almost. But some of you do have. Okay. Babies, I know that this... My opinion is that this, out of this whole... All these, all, all these three readings, this one was the most general. 
And if it did not help you enough... I'm sorry. <laughs> you may need a personal reading. But I hope it did help you as much as it could help you. But if it did not help you enough... Maybe it is because you... Wow. I was about to say the same thing I said. You already know the answers within. You already have the answers within. So it's about you tuning into your own self and finding them from within. Like the, the lightning strike of consciousness that I felt for you. Okay. Whew. It's a lot of powerful energy. And with this fork like this, this reminds me of the Sagittarius symbol, Sagittarius energy, which is all about striking, aiming for higher levels, higher grounds, higher ideas, higher, higher everything. And you can get there. And again, it's gonna come through shining with the sun. Oh, baby, I love you. Please do tell me how this was like, how you felt these messages. I love you so much. Go sign and come sign, my babies. Uh, I sense, like, those of you wanting any personal readings, check out the description for this video. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>